Hey everybody, Linda the Gamer Gal here, and today we're going to take a look at my gaming year for 2023. Kind of was so random that I was like, I'm going to wait and see what happens, and sure enough, the gaming wrap-ups both popped up on my feed at the same time. So we have Nintendo and we have PlayStation. Sadly, I did not have my login for the Xbox 360 hooked up to the internet, so I don't have a gaming wrap-up for Xbox, but... We will look at a deep dive of PlayStation and a deep dive of Nintendo. And let's see what patterns I have. This is going to be interesting. Let's go through. So for the first one, we'll start with PlayStation. And it looks like my very first game for the year on PlayStation was Monster Hunter World. I had played 121 games. Now, I did not complete 121 games on this system only because just like everything else some of the games I played I didn't like and I stopped them because I'm getting to that point where if I don't like a game I'm not gonna keep playing it so let's see what it was it was a leap of faith is what they called it so your big heavy hitters of 2023 of course Death Stranding was number one because that took 38 hours literally like 38 hours to play my second one which I'm glad is got GTA Vice City on there that was 21, 20, no, 24 hours. Then it's Horizon Forbidden West, and that's 23 hours. Then it was Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition, and that was 20 hours. And which is kind of weird that Lake took the same amount of time, and that's a narrative-based game, but I played and beat every ending and got the platinum on it, so that's why. But Final Fantasy, I thought I played more, but I guess because I just kept skipping all the side missions altogether... I just kind of was like, I'm going to get through this game. <laughs> so let's see what else they show you. Thrill Seeker, you spent 59% of your time on the edge of your seat, following no your goal no matter the odds. Okay, that's different. Look what you got to in month by month. Oh, okay, so in January, I played, what was it, 11 hours of my gaming session for, I played... Final Fantasy, that was the game of the month, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. We get an advertisement, I guess. Oh, okay, so I played 508 hours. Damn. 508 hours. 33% of the time, it was on the PlayStation 5. And then... 66% of the time it was on PS4. Well, because I had more PS4 games. <laughs> Woo. But 508 hours of gaming. Oh, trophies. Okay, so I got 830 trophies, 6 platinums, 75 gold, 111 silver. Nice. I didn't expect that many, but okay. I don't go for platinums that much. You broadcasted 10 hours of gameplay. Woohoo! <laughs> so, it felt like I was more action single player games on my PlayStation. But, we're going to switch on over to Nintendo. And let's see what we have for Nintendo. Let's go through. Okay, so for my year in review, let's take it from the top. Okay, so this one we scroll. Okay. So the very first game I played of 2023 was Animal Crossing. I'm always about chill games. So. <laughs> oh, oops. Okay, sorry. It looked like I played 44 games on here. 462 hours spent on my Nintendo Switch this year. Wow. And look at They show you all the games and apps you had played. Look at all that. We have... Le Pokemon Legends Arceus, we have Skate City, Animal Crossing, we have Jay and Silent Bob, we have Florence, a bunch of heavy hitters on your Oregon Trail, and then we have the most games played this year, which I'm surprised, but I understand because in December, I played and finished um, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm surprised that this isn't on here. But I guess December didn't make the cut because of that. So it's Animal Crossing, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and then uh, Ace Attorney. But that's because there's like three games in one, but I only played two so far. 
70 hours total. I have like 900 hours on Animal Crossing, just FYI. <laughs> I just play that whenever I need some uh, chill time. 60 hours played. 43. Your gaming trends. Okay, so I was more adventure. Then I was action. Classic games, 16%. Character driven, role playing, and simulation were all... Hmm. Okay. So, adventure, action. I, I'm not surprised by that because if you look at my PlayStation, it's a lot of action adventure games on there. Your most played month was March. Oh, wait, okay. Most played month, the. Oh, okay. So, February, March were my. And June was my most times played. If they had December on here, I think it would have been probably December because for Tears of the Kingdom, I played 75 hours plus on that game. So <laughs> I really do wish that they let you play and then get the wrap up a little bit later in the month so you could add December to this. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. And then we have March Pokemon, see? And then we have April... Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Arcade Paradise, another good game, Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney again because I play the second one, Harmony, F-Zero, right there, and then Animal Crossing again, see I was really into uh, getting all the stuff that I could for October, and then see right here I started at the end of the month. See, it only says 40 hours, but that's because I played 40 hours and I was still going. I, like, for the whole week of... I felt like I was doing a full-time job on this. For the whole week of Tears of the Kingdom, I played. <laughs> and I kept going because I was like, ah! So, yeah. This would have been also December, just FYI, if, if they had it on there. But let me know, what was your gaming year for any of the systems? Anything you played? Was it handheld, console mostly? I will say I was more console this year because I don't think I played as many PlayStation, um, PSP, or 3DS games as I usually play. I did play some uh, GBA games, but again, it was more console this time. So, thank you for watching. I enjoy these. I really wish I should have started these earlier and got more into it, but... I feel like a lot of the community have started doing this just on their own, but I think they took a little bit of a note from the companies for when they put it out. If you are new, please hit the like and consider subscribing. It helps out the channel. And I will be enjoying everybody's gaming year because I want to see everybody's stuff. But I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Linda the Gamer Gal, she's here, she's playing games, Linda the Gamer Gal.